Hey guys, we're back at the big spillway. Uh, carp tournament, catfish tournament's going on. I got carp bait. I got some stuff to catch catfish bait with. So got little red worms. Hopefully catch some bluegills or green sunfish. Last time we were here, it was like unlimited green sunfish. So um, yeah, let's get started. There's other people here fishing, so hopefully we don't get in their way. They don't get in our way and it's all good. But uh, yeah, excited. Um, here early and uh, gonna stay for about five, six hours and see what we can do. Let's get started right now. made another pack bait. I still have the leftover pack bait from the previous stream. So now I got two flavors, grape and banana. Banana did really well here last time. All right, cool. Let's, uh, I got the two bait runners going. I am going to now um, try to catch some bait cut, or uh, like a little bluegill or something, okay? So let's do that right now. Oh, well, this worm's trying to break through. Tell you in a second. And look at that. Got some catfish bait now. A little bluegill this time, not a sunfish. Eh, no, it's a green sunfish. It's tiny though. Tiny little guy. Where'd he go? Right here. Okay. I already got a bite on uh, the middle rod too. And I think I'm getting nibbles on the right one. There we go. Got all three rods out there. Um, I got like 21 pounds. I've only caught three carp so far in, in the tournament. Um, only my third day out. But uh, I'm not even close to first place. Oh, that's a bite on my bluegill. Fish on, fish on guys. Fish on, it's a cat. It's a cat, it's a cat. Got it. Yeah, let's go. Got a catfish, guys. Got a catfish. There we go. Got him. Okay. Show you guys real quick. Bluegill right here. Or bluegill. Nice channel kitty. It's real skinny. I'll rinse, rinse him off real quick. He had a bunch of, I'm sure it doesn't weigh anything, but it had a bunch of crap on it. One more time, guys, channel cat. Right there, let's let him go. Channel kitty right here, guys. Just over three pounds. What's he doing? Come on, get out of here, there you go. Let's go. All right, cool. We're part of the combo now. Part of the combo. I think I might recast my uh, middle rod. I'm not really too fond of where I put that. 
like I said, uh, my I didn't realize my line was kind of tangled, so when I cast it out, it barely went anywhere. Oh, we got one. We're on, guys. That's funny. There's a fish just sitting on here. That's so weird. We weren't even planning on catching this thing. Fish on, fish on, fish on. It's a okay. I was just checking my bait. We had a carp on, guys. Isn't that crazy? It's not big, he's little. Maybe a pound or two. That is hilarious. That doesn't happen too often. Got a carp. <laughs> there we go, just a little guy right here. Didn't even know he was on my line. I just reeled in to check my bait and all of a sudden I'm like, holy cow, there's a fish on. So I got it right there. Another carp, just a little one. There he goes. Yeah, so that was, I didn't even know I had a, a fish on. Like I said, I was just like, I don't like where I put this. I'm gonna reel it in and I'm gonna put it in a different spot. And so having to be a fish on when I reeled in. Oh, there's my other pole. Fish on. Fish on, fish on, fish on. This one's bigger. Oh, I think it's a buffalo. It might be a buffalo. Yeah, it's a buffalo. Still can win a prize with this though. Let's go. Let's go. We got a buffalo, guys. Not a carp. He's pretty big, though. He's going to give a, a run for biggest non. Buffalo, big old buff. Let's go. Three species already. Three species already. You guys ready to weigh this thing? Okay, cool. Okay. Third species of the day. Nice, nice buffalo right here. Let's go. Let's release it. All right, guys. Big old six pounder or something like that. Almost six pounds. Buffalo. Let's put it back in. There it goes.
Well, that was some high action right there. That was a good 10 minutes, a good 10 minutes of fishing right there. There's got to be some big channels out there. Looks like I'm getting bites, but I think it's just the current taking. No. <laughs> you guys, oh, that's a big bite. I don't know where my net is. Oh, I got it. Got it. Carp. Got us a carp, boys. He's a little one, too. You can add that one if you want, Lee. And I thought this guy was bigger, but he's not. Just a little one. All right, here we go. Just a little carp. Another little carp, guys, right here. Fourth fish, third, still third species. They're going back in the water right now. Here it goes. Man, it was such a big take for such a little fish, right? Nice, I got a full bag now, Sled. Of carp. I'm probably maybe 30 pounds. Those last two fish were pretty small. I don't even think I am at 30 pounds. I can't be. I think I'm at like, 27 or 28 probably I'm getting a bite in that center rod again bunch of nibbles bunch of little nibbles come on take it no you just want it just take it it's probably a turtle hope it's not a turtle Man, I might just check it. I don't know. Something's going on with my, there it goes, I think. Yep. There we go, little one. Little fish. Oh, what is this? This is different. Got it. Buffalo. Another buffalo. Smaller than that last one, so we're not going to weigh. I'm just going to show you and release. Okay. We're not even going to weigh it. Just a little guy. Just a little buffalo. Just a little cute guy right there. Just a cute little buff. Right there, another little buffalo. Let's watch this one. Right. Come on. There he goes. So yeah, so those buffalo, they like, it doesn't get stuck in their mouth. Well, it goes through their mouth. It goes through their mouth and out to their gill. 
and that's where you hook it at. You hook it on the outside of its gill, basically, because it sifts it so quick. That's where it gets stuck, the hook. So you're not actually hooked in the mouth. You're hooked in the gill. And it's the outside plate of the gill, so you're not actually, like, doing any damage. But then you got to slide the hook from the gill through the mouth, and that's the hard part of trying to get it through there without doing damage, which we were able to do. So it just took a while because it got hooked in the inside of the, like, its cheek. And it took me a while to get it out. Oh, center rod's doing something again. Yeah, I think that center rod's about to go. Yep, there it goes. Something little. We got one. We got a fish. It's another buffalo. Oh, 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 they're going nuts. There we go. Another buffalo. I already did. I already did sniping barber. Ooh, this is the first time I've ever caught a buffalo in the mouth, not in the gill. I think I got it because it was when it was nibbling still. Yeah, I already beat it. Yeah, this is the first buffalo I got. He was almost six pounds. Sled said I barely beat it by like point oh something. Thought he said point oh six. This might be. This almost looks like the same buffalo I caught earlier. But just a little. There we go. Just a little one. A little buff. Little buffalo right here, little baby buffalo. There he goes. It was a dink. Here, I'll finally, finally pick up this trash right here. Throw it in my bag, or in my wagon. All right. The buffalo are outnumbering everything now. The fish that doesn't matter is the one we're catching. Got something small. Hey. Fourth species, or technically fifth, but we caught a smallmouth bass. Caught a little smallmouth bass. Tiny, tiny little smallmouth bass. Look at this thing. You see that? Tiny little guy. This one feels big. Oh, 
it's off. Dang it. Dang it. That was a big one. That was the biggest one. I never felt one that big yet. Yeah, I don't know how it came off, but my hook's not bent or anything. That was a nice one. That would have been the, probably the biggest one of my tournament. I felt like I wasn't doing really anything to it. I was just keeping it out there. I might have to loosen my drag just a little bit. That was a nice one, chat. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for coming in. Appreciate it. Thanks uh, for watching this uh, video. And um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot. And uh, like this video and leave a comment. All those numbers and stuff all help out, make, make me grow, get more people to, involved and stuff. And uh, yeah. It was a fun time, we caught some fish for the tournament, caught some fish not for the tournament, but it's still a good day. Uh, make sure you check, it, check this out, check out other videos, and uh, hope to see you guys again soon. I'm gonna go to Lake Shelbyville in uh, middle of Illinois, and we're gonna fish for some largemouth probably, and maybe walleye, crappie, muskie, who knows what we're gonna catch. So that'll probably be the next video if we catch some fish. Go in there Thursday for an all day fishing thing, so. Uh, be fishing on my uncle's boat, so it should be fun. You guys all have a great day. Talk to you later. Look at the size of these fish I'm catching. <laughs>